Um, I've titled this video, Can, can a Woman um, Have Faith, Trust in the Lord, as it were, for a baby, for a child? So there are many uh, women out there, Christian women out there, who uh, at the moment are not able to conceive and are perhaps longing for a child. And so this um, video is going to be covering that subject. And in the last section, my wife Angeline will also share some thoughts uh, purely from the woman's perspective, whilst mine's obviously purely from the biblical perspective. So I believe that the story of Hannah can be applied to many situations in our life um, that needs provision from God. And being a singles uh, website or a YouTube site, it particularly, I use the story of Hannah um, for my provision of a dear spouse, or at least that I'll use that section, Hannah's account as one of the things, one of the helps to me and aids of faith to God providing me, my wife. But it can be used in many ways, not just simply for trusting the Lord in faith for a child or spouse, it could be many other things as well. But let's look at Hannah's story from the point of view of the desire for a child. Uh, for a woman who at that time uh, was considered barren. Remember that in Hannah's day particularly it was uh, a very very um, horrible and awful thing not to be how to give your husband a child. And it was almost like God was against you. That was the kind of culture back in those days, so I've led to believe. I believe that according to Hannah's plan of action, that you too can also reach out to God and ask Him in faith, trusting in Him for a baby, for a child. For Hannah, <clears throat> the whole process of suffering, uh, the pain of seeing her rival, the second wife, having children, was a torture for her. Yet the sufferings that she felt taught her to pray and to seek God's face. It made her a, spir it made her a spiritual woman that God needed to be to raise a godly boy who would be a prophet over Israel during a time when there was so much spiritual famine. So Hannah had a deep desire and longing, a passion, um, a deep desire, a need to be met. And in this case, for having a baby, it was like life and death to her. In fact, she was so long that she went off her food. We read that in uh, in Samuel's account, and she decided really to pray hard about it. And she entered the temple and prayed about the need, her deep longing desire for this baby. And Eli, the the uh, priest at the time, the prophet saw her lips move because she was just like speaking under her breath and so no words were actually coming out and thought she was drunk but Hannah said I poured out my heart to the Lord and basically about her request and Eli said to her or replied to her the Lord grants you your request and Eli's words were actually the word of God a word from God he was just a mouthpiece now today, of course, we have the Bible. But then, they didn't have the Bible in the same way as we have. And it gave Hannah peace. It gave her hope, assurance that God had heard and was going to give her a child. And she now had faith. She had confidence, trust. A promise from God through Eli. The matter was settled. The baby would be born no matter how long it would take. And that's another key point too. Hannah didn't know when the child was going to be born, but she knew it would, and that's all that mattered. Hannah was sad and weary before, but now she was happy and in great expectation. And we know that later on Hannah conceived and gave birth to Samuel. Um, there are three key words to describe Hannah's prayer. And they are passion, prayer and provision. First, she had a deep 
longing, passion, a deep ache that consumed her within um, for this need to be met, this desire. It was very deep. <clears throat> it drove her to tears. It drove her to prayer. It even made her go off her food. I guess we'd call that, to some degrees, a little bit of fasting. The longing produced prayer. And prayer, a reaction of which was earnest and desperate prayer. It wasn't just a casual prayer. It was very, very earnest prayer. Longing prayer. Groaning from deep within. Something that the Holy Spirit was moving on our heart to do. And last of all, prayer produced an answer. God's provision. And this came by faith in God's promise. Based on these verses, I firmly believe that one can ask in faith to receive a child, or indeed any other need or earnest desire of our hearts, as long as, of course, that they are the right things that we're asking for. As we know, the scripture says that sometimes prayer is not answered because we ask it for the wrong reason. Um, maybe to show off or to consume it upon our own desires. So the Lord knows our hearts, the reason why we're asking for this thing, uh, or in this case for the child. And also, it matters not your age or your health. Okay, so, you know, you may be a, a lady who's been asking the Lord, or really set to asking the Lord, and you're not so young. But that's not a problem. Age or your health... It's not an issue of God's provision. It all depends on trust, faith in God. Because God will enable you to have all the resources you need to have a child and to rear it. And with all the love and vigour a younger person could give. The child will be blessed, or just as blessed, if you're older as if you were a lot younger. And you say, why? Well, because you are in God's perfect will and time when he made the promise.